Here's a cooking video from Darren Spiker at Treasure Life Family Farms. Today we are going to take this turkey that we've had thawing for about four days. We're going to put it in a roaster. And uh, I just want to show you the before picture before we get to the roaster. Uh, when we thaw these turkeys, this, this one's about 24 pounds. 11 ounces, I think, is what the sticker said. I like to put them in a five gallon bucket, but they're bigger than a five gallon bucket. <clears throat> so even when that's initially frozen, it sticks up about another four inches because the bucket just isn't ready to take the frozen bird. And then uh, after uh, several hours of being in the water brine, the turkey sort of thaws enough to slide down the bucket a little more but since it sticks up above the water line I just put a bunch of paper towels over the <clears throat> uh, exposed parts just to make sure those don't dry out on us while we're doing the brining and the thawing. This turkey was in the refrigerator about three days uh, doing both thawing and brining. I uh, put water in the bucket uh, quite a bit of salt and then just let it sit there in the refrigerator and thaw and brine. So I'm going to pour the water out of this <clears throat> and then uh, put this turkey in the roaster and then we'll be back in the video. Alright, <clears throat> I don't have a uh, tripod handy for the camera today so I will do some of these things one handed and do some of these things off uh, camera but uh, one of the things I like to do is make sure I get a nice salting on the inside of the turkey and there are times when I would actually just stuff the turkey with uh, stuffing uh, today we're going to cook it uh, with the empty cavity that uh, works uh, just fine and fairly terrific usually so I'm going to do that <clears throat> but in order to uh, so the inside of the cavity, I like to just kind of stand the bird up in the roaster like that and use, when I have two hands, grab a leg with one hand and the, uh, the salt with the other and try to just coat the inner cavity with uh, salt. Nice little uh, sprinkle to uh, just bring out some of the flavor. So next thing we're going to do is set this guy down in the roaster and we're going to brush the uh, outer skin with uh, uh, vegetable oil is the one we use, uh, canola oil for specifically, and then after it's brushed we put on a layer of uh, some sort of a poultry seasoning. So that's the next step. Well, what I do is just, uh, you know, if we got two hands, of course I just uh, pour the <clears throat> oil on the bird and brush it around. Uh, since we're doing the video today, I needed to free up a hand for the camera. So it's just a matter of taking that olive oil, or not olive oil, I actually wouldn't use olive oil, sorry about that. Um, the uh, canola oil, and just, uh, you want to pretty much brush the whole skin of the turkey. Part of it is the oil makes a nice finished product when it's done bacon in the oven, but it also helps that uh, poultry seasoning. We're going to use this one today. A lot of times we get the one from Sam's Club. It's in a really big container and uh, it's a, just called a poultry seasoning. That, that works really well too. And uh, the oil helps that to stick to the skin of the turkey and not just all fall down the bottom of the pan. So that's a kind of a two-pronged benefit from that. So I just want to take the time to get all the basically the exposed surfaces and get them oiled up real nice. So I'll finish that and then we'll sprinkle the uh, poultry seasoning in uh, the next uh, little session here. Alright so I don't know if you can see in the camera but we've got a nice uh, little brushing of oil all over the turkey. Now I'm going to take my Weber chicken seasoning and uh, I'm just going to sprinkle it fairly heavy. This is a, you know, a 
spicier blend of things, but I don't think it'll turn the whole turkey into some inferno to eat. Now I try to get this seasoning generously applied without spilling it all over the bottom of the pan and wasting a bunch of it, but also just do use plenty get everything nice and coated up there and then as the turkey starts to sweat and those spices blend in with the juices then they sort of start to make their way around and around now that's really about all I do the uh, lid for this will fit. I know it looks like that sticks up quite a ways, but let me see if I can get it on here. And it's not even riding up on the turkey. I was kind of wondering if it would. So we're all set to go in the oven there. Over here. So I don't know if that's going to be blinking or not on the final video, but we're going to cook this at 277. It's fairly early in the morning. We're not going to eat this till dinner time. So I'm going to let this thing cook at a very low temperature for a very long time. Probably around 7 or 8 hours. So we'll go in the oven next. And then we'll take some videos as we check on it later on. And as we get it finished up. Alright, we're right about the 2 hour mark. 2 hours and 5 minutes to be exact. Let's see what we got here. I haven't looked yet. This is my first go here. So, looking pretty good. Heading in the right direction in all, on all accounts as far as I can tell. And we're still at 277 degrees. We'll check back in another couple hours. Alright, so this thing's been in the oven for about 4 hours and 40 minutes on 277 degrees. And I'm guessing by what I'm seeing that it's about done. Bones are coming out of the legs, plenty of juice at the bottom. So I think we'll be done cooking it from here. Maybe go give it a try. This uh, turkey is one of the ones we raised it's uh we ordered the baby chicks from i think this was uh, meyer hatchery and they come about this one about the middle of june and then by the time they were early november they were too big so this year we're going to order closer to first of august baby chick turkeys raise them up and sell some to people around here and eat some ourselves but uh this is one that we raised, about a 23 pounder, so we'll, uh, we'll take a leg off of it and maybe slice into it and see what we think. Well, I've never tried uh, slicing turkey one-handed with a camera in the other, so let's give this a try. A pretty sharp knife, so should do pretty good. Nice looking turkey. Good, good, good tasty bird. Alright, thanks for watching. Let us know if you want a turkey for uh, fall 21 or in later years, depending on how long this video is out there. Well, we try to have them ready every year around Thanksgiving and they'll be a little smaller this year. You know, maybe 16 to 25 pounds and not. 23 pounds and up, which is what we've been seeing in the last couple years. So we'll give that a try. Thanks for watching.